It has been mostly nice across much of the region. Great day to end the last day of winter. Been mostly quiet on satellite radar, but we are tracking some rain down towards the southeast in portions of northern Florida, southeastern Georgia. That was part of that frontal system that moved through and into the area Thursday and brought us some showers and some thunderstorms. Right now it's 57 here in Greenville. Winds are out of the south about 5 miles per hour. Much of the area is mainly in the mid 50s from 53 here in Greenwood. It's 52 up towards Clarksdale. 45 though Batesville. Also for Winona. 48 down in Jackson. 49 for Monticello and 57 up towards Pine Bluff, Arkansas. We reached 67 here in Greenville and in Greenwood. Last night's lows were 44 and 48. Now tonight we are expected to drop down to the lower 40s, pretty much 40 degrees from Chula to Cleveland, Hollandale, Yazoo City looking at 41. A little bit cooler on the eastern side of I-55, 36 for Kosciuszko, 38 for Grenada, 42 for Charleston and 40 up towards Batesville. Now we do have an area of high pressure that will move across the southern portion of the area tomorrow, bringing with it some southerly winds that will shift. And we're tracking a low pressure system that will move into portions of Texas. This is Monday afternoon. We'll start to see some fire up of some showers and thunderstorms in northern Texas, Oklahoma. This will be the system that we're going to watch and monitor that will bring us the possibility of some severe weather as we go into late Monday into Tuesday. Monday night, we'll see the system slowly approach the region. We'll see a few showers and thunderstorms late Monday night. Clouds will increase, but once we get into Tuesday morning, that line will approach our area and we could see possibility of some high winds and possibly even a few isolated tornadoes as well. Now Monday, the severe threat will be mostly towards the west, Shreveport, Dallas. We do have an enhanced risk on Monday, but once we go into Tuesday, that's when the enhanced risk will move to our region, mainly the southeastern portion of the viewing area, Carrollton, Yazoo City, Greenville, Cleveland, and northern Sunflower and Charleston, northern portions of the viewing area, mainly under the slight risk, but we'll still be under that threat for much of Tuesday. So we'll be watching and monitor, monitoring that system closely as we get closer to Tuesday. Now tonight, we're expecting a low of 40, be mostly clear, winds will be out of the south, southwest, about 5 to 10 miles per hour. Tomorrow is the first day of spring, reaching a high of 76, expecting plenty of sunshine. Winds will be south, southwest still, about 10 miles per hour. Into the extended forecast, once we get past Monday and Tuesday, temperatures will cool down a little bit to 63, reaching 58 by Thursday. Expecting mostly clear skies. That's once we get past Thursday. Temperatures will slowly begin to warm back up as we get into Friday and Saturday with more sunshine expected for next weekend.